Hello and welcome to our channel. Here we educate entrepreneurs, angel investors and venture capitalists by exploring the lives of successful investors who have made a significant impact on their business. If you are a tech enthusiast or a venture capitalist, you've probably heard of Mark Anderson. He is one of the most influential figures in Silicon Valley and his impact on the tech industry can hardly be overstated. Mark Anderson, the man behind some of the most groundbreaking technological innovations, is a true legend in the tech industry. Mark Anderson was born in Cedar Falls, Iowa in 1971. As a child, he showed a strong interest in computers and programming. And at the age of 14, he had already written his first software program. After graduating from the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, Anderson moved to California to work in a software company called Enterprise Integration Technologies. But it was his work at Netscape Communications Corporation in the mid 1990s that really brought him to fame. Anderson co-founded the company and helped create the first widely used web browser, Netscape Navigator. Netscape Cape success paved the way for the explosive growth of the internet and Anderson became a household name in the tech industry since then Anderson has been involved in a number of successful tech ventures including co-founding the venture capital firm Anderson Horowitz A16Z and serving on the board of directors for companies like Facebook and Hewlett Packard today Anderson is known for his bold predictions about the future of technology including his belief that software will continue to eat the world he is also a vocal advocate for entrepreneurship and innovation and has been praised for his contributions to tech industry but perhaps most importantly anderson's work has fundamentally changed the way we live and work in the digital age and his legacy will continue to shape the tech industry for years to come we are still in the early days of the internet there's a ton of innovation yet to happen in recent years Anderson has been vocal about the potential of cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. If you want to understand the history and future of technology, Mark Anderson is a name you need to know. He has left us with some valuable lessons in his efforts to make significant contributions to the tech world. Here are the top lessons he teaches us. Do you know why Mark Anderson selected computer science as his major while studying at the University of Illinois in Champaign? The only reason was that he was not doing well in his already selected course bachelor's in electrical engineering he was not interested in electrical engineering and hence lost the will to study further anderson has a very simple philosophy if you are not happy you need to find something different to do if you are not happy with the ideas you are creating or the work you are doing look for a change it is possible that you are focusing your energies in the wrong direction Anderson adds that he never wastes time being upset or depressed and tries not to let emotions cloud his work or decisions. The man who makes millions today started on a low scale. His first job was at his university's supercomputer center, NCSA, National Center for Supercomputing Applications. It is a little known fact that he was paid only $6.85 for working an hour. This shows that even if you start from a lower position with hard work and real interest you can reach heights like Mark. According to Mark Anderson, the biggest challenge of being a venture capitalist is not making money, but certainly finding time for the companies in your portfolio. He adds, being a venture capitalist, you are constrained far more by time than money. Innovation through trial and error is an important aspect that Anderson has incorporated into his firm and the many businesses he has invested in. He believes that taking risk and trying new ideas is the only way one can learn anything useful. Staying safe and not investing in creative ideas will only dwarf a company's success. Anderson has come up with a technique called the anti-to-do list, which helps him recognize his own accomplishments. He says This helps keep him motivated. No matter how small the accomplishment is, the method involves writing down any accomplishments throughout the day. And at the end of the day, he reads the list, which gives him satisfaction and motivates him for the next day. In one of the interviews, he said, "Remote work could cause an earthquake in how we live." 
He said that remote work was a consequence of the internet that may be even more important than the internet. He warns, remote work is not a good life for young workers. He states that remote work has detonated the role of office relationships in people's lives and that young remote workers are cut off from everything. Anderson believes that to build a rapport with your colleague, it's important to work in person. Anderson's advice to all the budding entrepreneurs is as follows. Don't fixate on a schedule. Just work on whatever seems important or interesting. Keep only three lists, a to-do list, a watch list and a later list. Each night before you go to bed, prepare a 3 by 5 index card with a short list of 3 to 5 things that you will do the next day. Take them off as you finish them. Email exactly twice a day. Keep your email notifications turned off and don't answer the phone. Start the day with a real sit-down breakfast. Only agree to new commitments when both your head and your heart say yeah. Do something you love. It is best to follow at least some of these things to make your way to success. Here are some of the interesting details about Mark that will surely amaze you. Laura, his wife and Mark have a lot in common such as yoga, watching movies, writing, reading and of course laughing which they do as much as possible. Mark Anderson during his youth years was given a number of nicknames. The list includes Boy Wonder, Golden Geek, Internet Evangelist visionary and gay. Even as a kid, he had no interest in sports or other outdoor activities and preferred playing and experimenting with his computer. Mark's parents got him his first computer when he was in 7th grade. Due to his experimentation and love for computers, he eventually began designing video games in his free time. The web address or the URL of his firm is a16z.com. It is interesting to note that A16Z is a code for Anderson Horowitz with A and Z representing the first and last alphabets. 16 represents the number of alphabets that are between A and Z. Mark Anderson is also a famous blogger. The name of his blog is Blog Maverick and he writes about technology, entrepreneurship and venture capital. It is said that Mark is a down-to-earth person who is also smart, funny and approachable. He is a great influential figure in Silicon Valley. Also, here are some of the important statements made by Mark. The best thing about starting a company, you only ever experience two emotions, euphoria and terror. This statement is so true that you can't agree more. I arrived in Silicon Valley in 1994 and I thought I was too late and missed the whole thing. This implies that Mark is keen to not miss out on a single thing ever. Product or market fit means being in a good market with a product that can satisfy the market. Here's some good news for you all. Anderson sees a very successful and profitable future for online businesses. He believes that much of the economic activity will move online, with more and more companies beginning to charge for online services. In return, more people will be willing to pay for these services, creating a strong economic hub online. Anderson's impact on the tech industry is difficult to ignore. He is a visionary, a pioneer and a leader who has shaped the way we live and work in the digital age. In a nutshell, Mark Anderson's groundbreaking work in creating the first web browser and co-founding Netscape paved the way for the internet as we know it today. His continued involvement in the tech industry and philanthropic efforts demonstrate his ongoing commitment to innovation and giving back to society. We hope you enjoyed learning about Mark Anderson, the father of the modern internet. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to tap the bell icon and subscribe to our channel Exit Fund for more interesting and educative videos.